Hi everyone and welcome to my kitchen. My name is Rosana and today I want to show you how to make steak fajitas. Look, I'm telling you, the marinade is amazing. The dish as a whole is going to be incredible. You're going to love it. Let me show you how to make it. These fajitas are beefy, citrusy, smoky and have a kick of honey to bring balance. Our first step will be to get the prep done. It is always fun to pick out colorful bell peppers. They bring so much life and excitement. We're going to need three peppers. You can pick whichever color you prefer. I have chosen to start with the green one. Go ahead and remove the seeds and stem. Then slice into about half inch slices. This green color creates great contrast in the dish while also adding its distinctive grassy flavor. Up next is the red bell pepper, which prides itself in sweet and fruity flavor qualities. As you prep all the peppers, notice they are slightly watery and with a delightful crunch. Once you finish slicing it into the same shape and size as the green bell pepper, transfer to a bowl and let's move on to the orange one. This one is very similar in flavor as the previous red one. They share delightful qualities. Make sure all the peppers are sliced to uniform in size so they can cook evenly. Also take half of a medium white onion and cut into slices as close as possible in size as the peppers. Mix all the vegetables we just prepped into a bowl and set to the side until we need them. For the meat, I'm going to be using one and a half pounds of skirt steak. I'm simply going to cut in half because it's too long of a piece to fit inside my lovely cast iron skillet. When I flip the steak, I can see remnants of the membrane. Simply remove it. The amount of fat on the surface surrounding the steak is great, so no need to trim any. Skirt steak works great in this recipe because it soaks up the flavors from the marinade easily. Now to make the marinade in a separate container, combine all the ingredients starting with a quarter of a cup of olive oil, three tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce, two tablespoons of red wine vinegar, a quarter cup of lime juice, two teaspoons of honey, Grate three garlic cloves straight into the container. Continue by also adding one tablespoon of Dijon mustard, one teaspoon of ancho chile powder, one teaspoon of onion powder, half a teaspoon of ground cumin, half a teaspoon of dry oregano, half a teaspoon of ground black pepper, and lastly, one teaspoon of kosher salt. Whisk to combine and when fully mixed in, reserve a quarter of a cup of the marinade in a different container. Let the marinating part of this recipe begin. Transfer the meat to a container large enough to allow the meat to be fully exposed in the marinade. Take the marinade and spread over both sides of the meat Flip until completely covered. I'll let it sit in all the flavors for about 30 minutes. For all of you grilling enthusiasts, feel free to grill the meat if desired, but today we are cooking the steak on a hot cast iron skillet. Place the steak on the hot surface and try not to overcrowd it. You also want to leave it alone, try not to move it until it's time to flip. Flip when the underside has browned beautifully and allow the other side to do the same. When both sides are nicely browned and the inside is cooked as desired, remove from the skillet and continue cooking the rest of the skirt steak. The temperature of the surface we cook the steak in is important. You want it to be hot so it can brown the meat and give the inside enough time to cook to your desired doneness. By the way, I have the temperature on the stove set to medium high. Ideally, this cut should be cooked to medium rare or medium. It did take me approximately two to four minutes per side, but the time can vary depending on the heat and also the thickness of the meat. I will leave the steak dentist temperatures in the description area. 
When all of the meat is done, remove the steak from the skillet and let it rest for roughly 10 minutes. This way the juices settle in and we end up with a tender and juicy end result. Also, remove the skillet from the heat so the bottom does not burn. When you are getting ready to slice the steak, identify the direction in which the grain is running and cut against it. This is a very important step to follow. If you cut with the grain, you will end up with pieces that are hard to chew on. I love skirt steak for this dish, but other cuts that work really well are flat meat and flank steak. Next, combine half of the quarter cup of marinade we reserved in with the veggies and mix to combine. Heat the skillet back up to medium high heat and add in the veggies. Saute until slightly cooked and softened, but not mushy. We want a slight crunch in them. It will take about five minutes. Make sure to stir frequently. At this point, they will pick up the flavor from the browning at the bottom of the pan. It adds another layer of flavor. When the vegetables are close to being done, pour in the remainder of the marinade from the quarter cup and add salt if needed and stir to combine. When the peppers look done, lay the meat over the bed of veggies and remove from the heat. Finally, as a finishing touch, sprinkle chopped cilantro over the fajitas and add salt to taste. Mix in to combine and you are ready to enjoy. Okay, it's time to taste and we're gonna do it with a taco. I already went ahead and put all of the fajitas in here with bell peppers, onions, mm, smells so good. Okay, let's do this. Mmm, mmm. This is delicious. Mm. I love it. What can I say? That's why I had to share with you. Oh my goodness, these are so delicious, completely made from scratch. You're gonna love the meat. The marinade brings so much flavor. You really have to try this one at home and then come back and let me know how it went in the comment area. All right, I really hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget that you can Follow me on all of my social media platforms and don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and click the notification bell. Until the next one.